everybody, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we're playing as Brandenburg in the Brandenburg into Germany series, where we try to play as Brandenburg and try to create Germany in uh, EU4, Europa Universalis 4, version 1.15, or 1.15. Anyway, um, we're not anywhere close right now to uh, forming Germany, but we are getting there. And either this episode or next episode, we're going to go to Teutonic Order just as soon as our truce is up. Um, okay, uh, we have a we have a uh, Cassus Belli. Uh, will it say when our Cassus Belli is up? Because I mean, we have the conquest Cassus Belli on a Konigsberg right over here, which is the last province we need to form Prussia, although we won't immediately be able to do that as, you know, we won't immediately be able to do that as we don't have the tech and we don't have the proper religion. Because we have to be a reformed or a, or a Protestant. I'm just thinking of the word there. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We have the mission to solidify our papal relations. And we're at, uh, 53 right now. So we're gonna be able to solidify our relations, and we get some, uh, yearly papal influence, I think it is. So let's see what our, uh... So we have no active cardinals. How do we get an active cardinal? I mean, do we have to... So we don't get an active cardinal, okay, whatever, I don't think pretty much all the states, little states, and our truce with Saxony has ended, no, declare war with them, okay, our truce with Saxony has ended, so, we have null treaties until the 7th of June, 1460, they are allied with Hesse and Mainz, right here, if we were to attack them and take Wittenberg, we'd only take Wittenberg so we could reach Saxon. But, uh, I don't know. We're not gonna go for Saxon just yet. Anyway, we want to go to war against, uh, the Teutonic Order. We have eight months when we, when we have the, uh, when our truce is up with the Teutonic Order, we want to declare war immediately. We want to declare war immediately. Hey, Poland, you like us? Uh, ask for military access. Okay. Uh, let's return this guy home and ask for military access. Hey, Poland, can we have some military access? Oh, yup. So they're allowing us military access so we can easily make our way uh, to uh, Konigsberg. I'm probably not going to go for Ermland or Memel as I just, all I need is Konigsberg, I'm gonna go straight for Konigsberg. And uh, we should have a way more powerful army than them. If we look at the ledger, although this could change, when it comes to the armies, let's look at the Teutonic Order. We gotta scroll down, give me a second. Okay, the Teutonic Order, right here. They have no units currently, but they can have up to ten. So they have li they have literally no military right now. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna create some boats because I can actually now. I'm gonna create an early carrack, a military boat, two military boats because I might need to fight in the sea at some point. Although I don't think they have a navy either. If we go, um, previous, previous rulers, armies, navies, and we go to Teutonic Order. Let's see what, what they have at, in terms of the Teutonic Order. They have a total of 15 boats. Okay, this boat we don't need to build. We don't need to build this boat. We just, I just want one boat to, uh, which boat will take the shortest amount of time to build. Uh, let's just build a cog there. Uh, I just want a boat that I can sort of spy on their provinces with to see if they're actually, like, building or anything. But, yeah. So, um, 
Let's see here. So, uh, while we got this, uh, core waiting, we have to wait. I think it's when's our, uh, truce up. When's our truce up with the Teutons? Uh, we have Brandenburg in January 1462, and Poland 1462. So, basically, uh, Poland... So we have basically eight months to go straight for... Oh, they're starting to get a little military. But they have eight years to get one. We have 14... We have 14 troops and a two-star general. So, I mean, we could probably easily beat them. We just need our make, to way our con make our way to Konigsberg, take that city, and then just go for the others. And then just quickly, just like eradicate them, sort of cover up all the, uh, provinces. They have no allies as well. Yeah, the Teutonic Order's gonna lose. Um, if you haven't seen any of my earlier videos, go and, uh, check the description below, because, uh, they, it'll show, it'll show you to my, uh, later video, or my earlier videos. But, uh, you're probably here because you want to see the finished product of my Brandenburg. So, um, yeah. Well, I can't help you with that. So we got a Polish... So he gave Lithuania that. I wonder, though. I wonder if Lithuania... No, I think Mazovia can't exist in... I wonder if Lithuania, although I've never seen it do that, uh, declares independence. Huh. Anyway, we're working to make a core in Danzig, like we, uh, started doing at the end of our last video. Uh, disputed succession, Wallachia, Mecklenburg. So, Mecklenburg. Basically, Mecklenburg has a disputed succession. But they hate us, so they won't give us a, uh, royal marriage. No, they won't. So, uh, I don't know what we can currently do right now, but, uh, yeah. And so after the Teutonic Order, we won't have a truce with Pomerania, so we're going to attack Pomerania for Rostock. We're going to just take Rostock, not even take any other provinces. Um, the reason for that is because Rostock is a, uh... Okay, we got a Koron Danzig, but Rostock is one of the provinces that I need to uh, create Germany. So is uh, Brunswick, Thuringen, Saxon and Hamburg, which are the closest to me currently. Hesse and Frankfurt are also uh, cities I need, and Munich and Osberg, but, and Köln. I'm, I'm kind of getting off topic here, but yeah, there are a lot of, there are a lot of cities that I uh, actually need, so, to form Germany anyway. So, uh, Okay, so we're, um, accepting Prussian. So let's check our, uh, accepted cultures. So we accept all the cultures. Okay. Now, Pomeranian separatists. Oh, uh, no. Harsh treatment for them. Harsh treatment for you. Harsh treatment for you. Everybody gets harsh treatment. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Influence in the carrier. Oh, so we, uh, s finished our mission, return home, is there, like, another mission we can take, create a proper fleet, vassalize Saxony. Oh, so they want us to Saxony, uh, thing is, they will get an alliance, offer vassalization, it's because they're an elector. Yeah, like, we're not gonna be able to do that, so that'd just be wasting a mission. That's a terrible mission. Uh, how do we get rid of a mission? Uh, no. That, that's a terrible mission. Yeah, Vassalize Saxony is a terrible mission. It's gonna take a really long time to create a proper fleet and to conquer Silesia. Well, that's Bohemia's. Yeah, I, I don't wanna do that, because that would just, you know, that would just, uh, ruin the, uh, well, I mean, going to war with Bohemia 
depends on who they're allied with. They're allied with Poland, Donsbach, and Thuringia. So this is the diplomacy view. So pretty much all of these countries would go to war. Yeah, and it would practically be against the, this and Poland's vassals. So that would be like a huge war against just this little guy right here. I don't think any of my allies would join, but uh, it's good to have Denmark as an ally for protection. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, let's continue though, because we want to uh, get to a 1462, January 1462. So that would be in three, five years. Five years in game time, and uh, Konigsberg will be ours. I want to march straight for Konigsberg if uh, Poland uh, loses like their peace treaty or whatever and starts attacking the other places. I'll let them take Ermland, Ostron, and Menel. I really don't care. As long as they don't take Konigsberg. I did play a game as a Teutonic Order once, and I actually did uh, conquer all of uh, Mazovia and Poland, although Moldavia, I think I just, uh, I don't know what I did with Moldavia. But uh, since then, the uh, sort of this, I can't really, I don't think I can actually uh, play it again since it's like an earlier version of the game, and I think it would just be like a corrupted save file. But that would be cool, like, you know. So I basically conquered pretty much all of Poland. I think I actually conquered Moldavia at some point. I don't know. I forget. But I didn't want to attack uh, Lithuania, so I didn't get that far. Anyway, uh, yeah. Is there anything else we need to do? Too many diplomatic relations, too many military leaders. Diplomatic relations. Saxony. Saxony. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we have eight out of four diplomatic relations. Whatever. Uh, Lithuania, we don't need military access from you again. Diplomacy. Cancel military access from Lithuania. That should get us two per month. Uh, military access from Mazovia we don't need, but we'll need it from Poland. So we'll cancel military access from them. Uh, Saxony. So that gives us a three monthly increase. That'd be okay for now. Although that is kind of terrible. There's nothing I can do because I want my allies in case someone attacks me. If only I could just conquer all of Pomerania, but uh, if I look at the, uh, say I look at the, uh, coalition map mode. Well, let's see here. These have like 18, 14, 27, 14, 14, 14, 27, 27. So the highest, uh, aggressive expansion is 14, or 27. Ah, eh, that's fine. So I got a truce with these guys too, and that's uh, ends 1458. So like, why not? Uh, this ends. What is it? January 1458. Why not attack them? Because it, I'm afraid it might take. Uh, past. Uh, I'm afraid the war might take too long. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna just attack them afterwards. I'll be able to do that though. I mean, you know, I'll be able to uh, attack them afterwards. And yeah, so Konigsberg is the number one priority, then Rostock, and then I'll maybe go for a uh, Braunschweig, then Thuringen and Saxon and whatever is over here. So yeah, choose with Anhalt, East Frisia. Okay, Anhalt. Who are you allied with? Braunschweig and Lauenburg. We got Lauenburg here, Brunschwig here, and Anhalt here. Like, I could always take Braunschweig, that's a province I need, but I'm not gonna do it now. I want to attack Konigsberg first. Oh, 
My navy's done. Go out into this sea. And our truce with Pomerania has ended. It's either like they have their entire army go here and then run back. Oh, they don't even have an army. Oh, wow. I thought I saw an army from them, but Teutonic Order armies. Teutonic Order. Uh, they should have an army. I mean, they're going to be attacked. But they have nothing. Wow. So, give them four years. They might get something. But, I mean, either that or they're in debt and they can't get any soldiers. Oh, well. Oh, Muscovy's been attacking Novgorod like usual. Okay. Um, yeah. Unhappiness. Lose money or gain prestige and lose stability. Um, I think I might, uh, just, so we can lose money. I'll just gain the prestige. Rebel factions. Our truce with Poland has ended. Oh, but Poland likes us and they're friendly, so they won't attack us. At least I hope not. <laughs> wow, they only got one province. Anyway, I wish I could speed up time a little more to that uh, date that I could uh, actually attack them, because this is a little boring. Huh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, y okay, let's see what else we can do. Let's look at our stability. We can boost our stability. Uh, let's look at our tech. I mean, 1466 here to 1465. Yeah, I don't know, because I probably won't be able to get any tech soon because I'll be attacking Con uh, Konigsberg and I'll need the Diplo to uh, get it from. Teutonic Order, I'll need the admin to a uh, core it, so. But I might be able to get military tech soon. Okay. We have no subjects, I mean. I could make Pomerania a subject, but when I go to war with them, but I could, you know. Um. Burgers, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that looks about right. Anyway. Just four more years, or less than four years anyway, and uh, we'll be able to... We'll be able to attack, so uh, that's gonna be in the end. No. I, I kinda know for a fact right now that it's gonna be in the next episode, but I wanna see if it's actually gonna be in this episode. It might be in this episode. It might. It might be in this episode. The dynasties. The Von Hohenzollern dynasty. Oh, so there's like this... Wow, there's a uh, dynasty. Wow. Oh, I guess gray just means it doesn't have a dynasty. Yeah, looks like it doesn't have a dynasty. Hanyadi, okay. What just happened? They just swallowed Mazovia. Oh, they, ju they, just, they just swallowed Mazovia. Oh, that's why their name grew. Uh, let's just go back to this. I mean, kind of looks nice. Uh, De Avis, De Trastamara, Marinid, Hyundai. Okay, whatever. Wait, this guy has the Von Wittelsbach. Von Wittelsbach. Oh, we lost our royal marriage with Sexy Lauenberg. Ottomans seem to be attacking the Mamelukes. Good for them. Okay, oh, oh, royal marriage. 
accept. I'll take the royal marriage. But, geez, Poland, you're just gonna, like, swallow Lithuania? Liberty desire. Well, Lithuania's liberty desire is getting bigger. I wonder if the, uh, union between Poland and Lithuania will, uh, any, like, for the entire game, stay there. I mean, the Commonwealth usually is one of the most powerful uh, European countries in the game, and it usually stays there the entire game. But, yeah, I'm wondering. Okay, so they have one unit so far with this is the same one I saw earlier. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. They have no allies still. And it's almost two years until we can declare war on them. Okay. Nine. Yep. It's almost gonna be two years till we can declare war on them. Yep. And uh I'm I'm sorry, like uh let me let me check something. I'm sorry if like it's boring, but I mean we can't really do anything right now because we have basically uh treaties everywhere to not go to war. Anyway, we need two hundred and one gold ducats to build a castle. Okay. So they have three castles, like, seriously? Well, at least when we go to uh, Konigsberg and take it, we'll have a castle there. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's look at our ally. Ooh, 17,000 troops. That's pretty good. Is there, like... Petition for redress. We get seven. We get seven peasant rebels in Newmark, but nobilities gain ten loyalty. No. Let's do that. Deny petition. Oh right. Oh right, army maintenance go up. Oh, that was so close. So, so close. That was so close. Anyway, our army will recover, and uh, yeah. Will our army recover? 30 will reach the armies each month. And, uh, this month I won't have to recover anymore. What? Oh, I need 168 troops. Okay, I'll consolidate my regiments. And that gives me army force limit of 14. Whatever. At least I have like 3.8. <laughs> I'll still be able to take the Teutonic Order. Anyway. One tune of port and let them die. Ah, that's what I usually do. I'll take that. T the nobility estate loses 10 influence until the 4th of November. Fine. Okay. Oh, reduce inflation. Okay, yeah. Let's unpause. Okay, let's uh, raise up our army maintenance to the max that we can support. We gotta click it twice more. Okay. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So in two months, we'll be able to, uh, yeah. So. Oh, great advisor died. Well, we'll replace him later. But, yeah, I mean, it's going to be r right at the beginning of next episode that we're going to be able to, uh, declare war. Or somewhere around the beginning of the next episode. So, I, c I can't really promise, like... Well, 
I mean, I'm not gonna be, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be attacking them in this episode. It'd be like right, <gasps> Ooh. And I can put my army at full maintenance. Ha. Huh. Full maintenance. See that? We got our army at full maintenance. Okay, now that we got our army at full maintenance, uh, let's wait for the maintenance or the, let's wait for the, what's it called again to go up? It's called the, uh, morale. And then we have just a little bit longer to wait. So we'll, uh, end this video right when we're, uh, I think we'll end this video right when, uh, like, it's the new year. So in, like, a couple months we'll end the video. But we have nothing right now. Oh, right, I was gonna replace this guy. Missionary strength. No, cancel. No, I don't want missionary strength. I want... No, I don't want missionary strength. I'd rather have... Eh, yearly prestige. What the heck? That'll get our prestige to go up yearly. That'll be good. Whatever. I mean, then a military adv Oh, right. We're losing money. We're losing money. Yeah, let's put our uh, maintenance down there for now. I mean, then you go back into the port. And, uh, yeah. So... So yeah, um, we're gonna end off the video right here. Actually, no, we'll we'll wait a month. But uh, yeah, we're gonna end off the uh, video pretty much right uh, right about now. And uh, uh, why don't you guys, uh, while you're uh, so while you guys are uh, on this video, uh, please hit that like button to show your support, and uh, hit that subscribe button so you can see the uh, latest updates to the series. Um, hit the, uh, just comment down below, not, not hit a button, but just comment down below, tell me what you thought of this series, tell me if there are any, uh, any things I could change, any things I can make better in this series, you know? And, uh, just leave your, uh, comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the, uh, next episode. Bye.